Bull High. This is Kevin. I'm Philip Fantastic. I'm an expat American who's living with his wife and stepdaughter in the Philippines, but I'm now in South Korea. Came here to do a summer teaching job for three months. So I'll be sharing with you content of the sights and sounds from Seoul, Korea and the Gangnam District. Just got in late last night, arrived around 7 p.m. at the airport. Took about another hour and a half to get to my neighborhood on the subway. Got lost a couple times. Luckily, after having lived in China, I kind of learned how to read subway maps. So I was able to navigate my here fi myself here finally. Had some trouble locating the apartment though. It was kind of tucked back and off the main road. This is my street. It's a very hilly area, kind of reminds me of San Francisco neighborhood or the Capitol Hill area in Seattle, Washington. Today I'm going to go visit the art museum in Seoul, Korea and check out the Tim Burton exhibition. So let's go see what it's all about. Come on. The DDP building serves as a central hub for many creatives. People involved in fashion, architecture, music, art, all seem to flock to this central location located in Seoul, Korea. So I had to sign up for a waiting list to get into the Tim Burton exhibit. They said the wait time is about one hour, so just waiting until I get my text message to go inside and hopefully that'll make this trip worthwhile. But we'll see. Uh, for as big as a building as it is, there isn't really much to see at the DDP. I mean, you can walk around the interior, but I didn't see any... You know, expecting from a museum, I was expecting to see artwork and sculptures and all that other fun stuff, but really it was kind of empty. So overall, I wasn't too disappointed with the Tim Burton exhibit. Uh, I did get to take some photos until I was told not to do that. And then I took some more anyways, just like under the under the sly. Didn't know too much about Tim Burton. As an artist, uh, spent a lot of his childhood always making doodles and stuff in his notebooks. And then, you know, later on in life, that proved to be very rewarding for him in his career. I think nowadays that's kind of frowned upon. Children, children aren't really allowed to express their creativity that often. And uh, when they do, sometimes they're scolded for it. So, kind of a lesson to be learned there. Uh, some people just aren't cut out to be like a math person or a science person. Some people are meant to be creative artists and musicians and whatnot. So, good lesson to walk away with there. Uh, and now I'm off to go see if I can catch the sunset at Nam San Hill. So, let's go. Alright, so we made it on the subway. Got to the Namsan Hill area. If you can see that large spire way off of there in the distance. That's our destination. It's supposed to be a cable car that will take us up to the top.
Looks a lot to be the same like any other side street in South Korea or Seoul so far. It's own kind of micro universe with lots of shops, ca cafes, souvenir stands. Even a little hardware store here. from my map, little handy dandy map here. So we're gonna make a left, go up the hill, more hills. One thing I found out about South Korea so far, about my tech, is that Google Maps does just not work here. So I made it to the top after multiple stair loads. I'm pretty beat. I'm gonna go check out the view here, get some photos, and then head back to Gangnam. famous Gangnam Square at night time. Should be pretty busy right now. We'll go take a little stroll. But for the most part, this area of Seoul seems to be a young people's hangout. U.S. city, you would expect to find all your main stuff on the along the, the main roads of the city, right? Just like this road here is Gangnam, Gangnam Madero, Gangnam Madero. So in the U.S., this would be considered an alleyway. You probably find dumpsters, straight cats, crackheads, but very clean here in Seoul. They utilize pretty much every space, every building, every street. Oh, look at that! Chicago pizza. To put that on the bucket list. Lots of these multi-level buildings. Each level has at least one business, if not more. Plenty of pubs here. No shortage of that. It just depends on what type of scene you want. This area here seems more like a laid back uh, restaurant bar slash pub area. I see a Irish pub here. So I have been craving a Guinness for a while, so this might be on the, the list tomorrow. Just want to thank you guys for watching. Do me a favor and hit that like button, subscribe, and the bell.
so you won't miss out on any more mediocre entertainment. Salamat.